So I'm going to touch on some of these aspects here, kind of show you what we have. Uh, I mean, in general, if you wanted to create a view in SolidWorks, and let's say we had some kind of a model available. I'm going to open just any model here. So here's a model. And uh, if we want to create some views for this model in a drawing, um, I think most of you know, hopefully, that you can go up here on the top area, scroll this little area out where, you know, for the new button, and we have two functions available that automatically will create either a drawing or an assembly. Since we're concerned with drawings today, we're going to go ahead and click on that and see where it takes us. You notice how it goes automatically to the drawing environment, so you don't have to open up any documents or anything. Gives us the uh, interface here as far as choosing what template size you want to use. In this case, I'm going to use my standard B landscape here. Open it up, and automatically SolidWorks, as you can see in our task pane toolbar here on the right-hand side, had already created all this, uh, you know, necessary views that we want to um, add. Uh, we might want to add into a drawing. Uh, most of the times, you probably, uh, you know, create top, front, right, and all that stuff. So you could literally drag the view into the drawing and let it go. So with my left mouse button, I basically drag the view in, let it go, and if I just simply move my mouse, you'll see you get the projected views in all the different directions, whether, you know, it's isometric or the, uh, you know, the, the standard projected views. So Let's say if I started here with a front, obviously there's my top, there's my right, there's my isometric, and I have very quickly generated all the standard views uh, that I uh, want to basically work with. These views, um, you know, are basically like little windows. As you can see, when I, when I put my cursor next to them, next to the view, you'll see a little dotted line highlighting basically a uh, frame uh, showing where the viewport uh, you know, basically uh, limits are, okay? So you can see how it's highlighting here. Uh, if I click on that frame, you'll see on the left-hand side, all the properties of, of that view will appear. For, for instance, let's say we want to work on this isometric view here. If I click on it, again, I got the property of the isometric view. I can change configurations. I can change even display state, for those of you who work with display states. Uh, the display styles from color to, uh, you know, hidden uh, lines, uh, uh, shaded with edges, wireframe, and so on and so forth. So most of you are probably hopefully aware of these, uh, you know, basic functions. And of course, it goes on to scale, so I could scale it, obviously, to any scale I want, okay, and then go from there. So these are the, the really the traditional methods of creating views.